I'm your host, Jordan Jenga, and you're watching The Auto Show. Each show, we'll talk about what's new in the industry and what's going on in the local automotive landscape. We'll have interviews with area dealers, experts, and bring you presentations and reviews on some of the latest cars, trucks, and SUVs. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Auto Show, and today we're starting out with some automotive news as per usual. And to start us off is this 2025 Volkswagen ID Buzz. Now the Volkswagen ID Buzz I think looks really neat. And it's Volkswagen's electric version of the very popular micro bus from the 60s and 70s. I think the styling's fantastic and I literally cannot wait to see one in person. Initially it's going to launch with two trim levels in a first edition. One trim level, the Pro S, has rear wheel drive and a bench seat to help hold seven people. And the Pro S Plus adds a heads up display, an available all wheel drive and an upgraded stereo system. The first edition offers rear wheel drive or all wheel drive and comes with a two tone paint job and a really neat electrochromatic panoramic roof. As far as horsepower goes, the rear wheel drive models will have 282 horsepower while the dual motor all wheel drive setup is 335 horsepower. Volkswagen claims will be launching this iconic vehicle sometime in the fall for the United States. Next up, Kia for the 2025 model year is making a refreshed version of its very popular EV6. The 2025 EV6 has a new battery pack that increases from 77.4 kilowatt hours to 84 kilowatt hours improving range. Also, the new EV6 sports tweaked styling with new updated headlights and C-shaped LED running lights. And luckily, the rear of the EV6 maintains its really neat taillight that sweeps across the entire back of the vehicle that makes it very distinctive on the road. There's going to be a new steering wheel, a fingerprint authentication system, and some other interior updates as well. I think the EV6 is a really sharp looking machine, especially for an EV, and if you agree with me and you're looking into one of these, make sure to check it out at Kia of Attleboro. Jeep has announced that its very popular Gladiator model is going to be getting the 4xe treatment as it did with the Wrangler. Now the 4xe is the same hybrid powertrain that you'll find in the popular Wrangler 4xe which has been a huge success for Jeep. As a matter of fact, the Jeep Wrangler 4xe is the most popular plug-in hybrid right now in the US. The powertrain is a 2 liter turbocharged engine with 270 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque and combined with the electric motor that bumps up to 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. It's accompanied by a 17 kilowatt hour battery pack that Jeep claims will give it just about 20 miles of range on just electric. For more info on where to place your order on one of these Gladiator 4xe's make sure to check them out over at Elmwood CDJR in East Providence. Speaking of hybrids, Toyota is launching a hybrid version of their very popular Toyota Tacoma pickup. The new Tacoma starts at a little under $50,000 and this is the first time the Tacoma has been available with a hybrid powertrain. Toyota's iForce Max engine and electric motor put out a very stout 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. For reference, the non-hybrids come with either 228 horsepower or 278 horsepower depending on the model. The most affordable option to get you into the iForce Max Toyota Tacoma is going to be with the TRD Sport, which starts at a little under $48,000. Interestingly enough, the new Trail Hunter, cool name, and the TRD Pro come hybrid only. And if you're going to be looking at one of the new Tacomas, make sure to check them out at Toyota of Dartmouth. And with that, everybody, on with the car show. Avoid all the bridge traffic. Shop Chevrolet Buick GMC of Attleboro. Enjoy a stress-free drive and a relaxing car buying experience at our easy to get to location. 103 Washington Street, South Attleboro. We have over 200 new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs on our lot ready for immediate delivery. Plus, we offer additional savings to our military and first responders. And as always, our top priority is you. Chevrolet Buick GMC of Attleboro.com. At the fully redesigned Kia of Attleboro, our top priority is you. We have Kia loaners and short-term rentals available. Offer top dollar for your trade and offer a $300 military rebate. We have an easy sales process where you're in and out in one hour. Factory trained staff with years of experience, over 500 new Kias to choose from, all backed by an industry leading factory warranty. And we're easy to get to, no bridge or traffic jams. KiaOfAttleboro.com. Hi, I'm Dave Audette, inviting you to browse Rhode Island's largest selection of wedding bands. More options always equal a better fit. 
From made in USA options to handcrafted in-house custom designs, we are trusted jewelers since 1918. Selection, style, and MRT, the perfect formula for finding that perfect fit. Visit us at mrtjewelers.com or follow us on social for inspiration. Your dream ring may be closer than you think. It's the season at Elmwood Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Lease a 24 Jeep Compass for only $179 a month or lease a 24 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE for just $319 a month. Plus, we have 24 Jeep Wrangler 4xE leases for $349 a month. And for a limited time, save over $10,000 off 24 Ram 2500s. Are you over the bridge? No worries. You don't have to come to us. We'll come to you. For more info, visit ElmwoodCDJR.com. Everybody, very excited. We got Maurice back from Kia of Attleboro. We're checking out the new Sorento. Good to see you, buddy. Happy Tuesday, brother. Thanks for having me happy, on. Happy Tuesday. It's a beautiful sunny day here, which is rare here in New England. Um, tell us about the car you brought, the new color you got on it, the trim, all the goodies. So the Sorento has been one of our bread and butter pieces for years. We are very excited with the recent refresh. This is a 2024 updated grill, updated headlights, updated front end. It looks like a mini Telluride. Beautiful new dual screen on the inside. So the interior receives the new panoramic dual screen. We couldn't be more excited. Nice. Let's talk about the important stuff. What's under the hood? 2.5 liter turbo engine. It's only a four cylinder, but they pack it with the turbo, 280 horsepower, and you still get 27 MPG. And this one, wow, 27 is a pretty big vehicle for that. And this also has the, uh, the eight speed dual clutch transmission. It does, and it's nothing but sp smooth with the du different driving modes and safety features galore. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the safety features and the cool, also the key on the phone. So all of the safety features that you would come to, an ex come to expect at a, with an SUV at this level, lane keep, blind spot, but it's the Kia DriveWise suite that adds the driving assist features. So not only will it alert you if you're getting too close to something, it will help you with the brakes. It has the 360 monitor and the blind spot view camera, yeah. so you can see things from every angle. When you put your left directional on, you see what's on the left-hand side of the vehicle. When you put your right directional on, you see what's on the right-hand side of the vehicle. That's super Once helpful. again, if you're gonna turn and somebody's in your blind spot, not only will it beep and flash, it's going to um, keep the steering, nudge the steering wheel to keep you in the right spot. That is super useful, especially with today's crowded roads and modern drivers who aren't distracted, distracted at all. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the styling, man. You said this is wolf gray. Is this a new color? This is wolf gray. I actually wanted to grab the road rider brown. Everybody yeah. makes fun of me because I'm so excited about the new exterior color. Yeah. It's very, very sharp. But this is wolf gray, which is super popular. We actually can't keep this color in stock in the Sorento, all the Sportage is very highly sought after. I absolutely love it. It's trending now, all of yeah. the manufacturers are making it. Yep. I think Kia really hit a grand slam with their version of it. Once again, it's one of our most popular colors on the vehicle. It looks amazing. It has the black leather interior. You have a brown choice and you have a sage green choice. Nice, I like, I like the green, that's really neat. Um, let's go around the side of the vehicle here. And I really like the wheels that Kia has been coming out with. We're riding on Continental tires. I see a 255, 45, 20 on there. And it rides pretty nice, right? It rides super smooth. This is a brand new wheel design for 2024. And I like it. It's unique. Uh, Kia has a lot of home runs with their wheel design. So tell us about this specific trim level, because this one's a little bit of a higher trim level, right? So this is the SX. It does give you all of the options as far as safety and luxury goes. But not only is it an SX, it's the X line. And what that means is you get the blacked out wheels, the blacked out trim, and the roof rails sit one inch higher off of the vehicle to give it a more aggressive appearance. Sure, and you can put fit bicycle, roof rack, toolies, all those kinds of things, right? Absolutely. Maurice, I can already tell there's a huge update in here. I really like all the soft touch materials. We have a leather uh, steering wheel here. All of this is soft touch on the doors. I find even in higher model cars a lot of times, when you go up here, it's kind of scratchy plastic. So it's nice to see um, on the Sorento that it's all soft touch materials. What can you tell us about the dash and a couple of the updates? 
I'm really excited that you've noticed the upgrades. I can't tell you enough. We hear it all of the time. People are blown away by the fact that this is a Kia. Yep. The quality that you get, the craftsmanship, it's a stitched leather steering wheel. Mm -hmm. This is a brand new dual 12.3 inch panoramic display, never before seen in the Sorento. You used to get just the one screen in front of you. Right. This is a continuous screen, completely digital, completely touch screen, down to the climate and to the radio controls, which you toggle back and forth all digital, all touchscreen, heated seats, ventilated seats, quilted leather on the door panels. I mean, the list goes on and on. Once again, I hear it every day. I can't believe this is a Kia. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Uh, I'd like to point out a couple things just from my brief interaction with it. One, it has the right size steering wheel, which I always appreciate. <laughs> Um, it's not too thick. I don't know if anybody's driven a recent BMW M car. I'm not a big guy. I can barely get my hands around the thing. This is a nice size steering wheel, and I like that this is low. It gives you, like, there's not a big, huge binnacle here. This being low, you can see it through the steering wheel, even at my not so high high height. Um, I think you have a great breadth of uh, vision in this, and I really like the design, actually, the air vents, how they kind of go up on the sides. Uh, one thing I really like, an actual shifter. Um, heated and cooled seats. I see we got lane keep assist. This has radar cruise control as well. It has the navigation based smart cruise control where you can set a safe distance to you and the car in front of you. Um, and it works along with the navigation. A couple other things I really like. Um, you have actual nice turn stalks. They're easy to use. Um, I got in this and it was easily immediately be able to uh, just hop in it and drive. Um, I like the comfort of the seats. Nice, they hold you in nicely. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is I see we have an auto hold feature, the electronic handbrake, and this looks like it has hill descent control. It does, and I, I really appreciate the fact that you're pointing out the cool features like the stalks, the steering wheel, the comfort of the seats. It's not just me. I have the same corny, yeah. <laughs> I have the same corny joke all the time. My shirt says Kia. It's easy for me to get excited about these Kias, sure. these Kias folks. Consumer Reports, JD Power, Kelly Blue Book, they all love the design. Kia is not afraid to let you know that they've stolen some stuff from some of the higher end European brands as far as ergonomics and placement of buttons and so forth. Very easy to use. The auto hold feature was something I used to think was a funky feature and I've grown to absolutely love yeah. it. And in this trim, it comes on automatically. If you're at a red light, you can simply take your foot off of the brake while the car is still in drive and it keeps it there. And then you just put your foot on the gas pedal when it's ready to go. So it's a love really that. cool feature. It does have the downhill brake control, like you mentioned. Um, I would work that um, along with the emergency brake if I was parking on a steep hill, mm -hmm. or I would put it on if I was descending a steep hill. Sure, like off-road. I see we got sport mode, normal, snow, eco, and smart. And does it have a cent center differential lock? So it does lock the all-wheel drive to guarantee all four wheels get the same amount of power. Pretty cool. But for the most part, this is all-wheel drive all of the time, but the majority of power is going to go to the front to give you the best gas mileage. Mm -hmm. In bad weather conditions in New England, which we get, um, we would couple the snow mode with the all-wheel drive lock, and you're good to go. Maurice, as always, we love you coming down here, showing us the new Kias, all the features and everything. Uh, tell us where we can get them. Uh, 795 Newport Avenue, Attleboro, Massachusetts. It's exit 2B off 95. Ask for Maurice or check us out online anytime at kiaofattleboro.com. The hybrid's coming out next month, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll have that one on the show too, We right, absolutely buddy? will. All right, thanks, bro. Good Thank to see you. Thank you, Jordan. Very good soon. to see you. Maurice here at Kia of Attleboro. You do not want to miss out on our limited time offers going on right now. Lease a brand new Forte LXS for just $189 a month. Or lease a brand new all-wheel drive Sportage LX for just $237 a month. Plus we offer first responder and military rebates. Car shopping made easy. Kia of Attleboro, exit 2B off of 95 in South Attleboro, Mass. Or online at kiaofattleboro.com. At Toyota of Dartmouth, we're one of the highest rated Toyota dealers in the country, and we're just 10 minutes from Fall River. For a limited time, lease a 2024 Toyota RAV4 Prime SE for only $329 a month. Plus, we have special financing as low as 1.99%. Our lot is stocked full of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs for immediate delivery. Toyota of Dartmouth, just 10 minutes from Fall River, right off of 195 in North Dartmouth. 
the fully redesigned Kia of Groton, our top priority is you. We have Kia loaners and short-term rentals available. Offer top dollar for your trade and offer a $300 military rebate. We have an easy sales process, factory trained staff, over 500 new Kias to choose from, all backed by an industry leading factory warranty. Easy to get to and most importantly, voted number one in the region, district and zone for service customer satisfaction. KiaofGroton.com. Welcome to the all new state of the art Hyundai of Newport, where we bring the luxury car buying experience to you with free pickup and delivery, loaner vehicles, and drive in service bays. And as always, we offer additional savings to our military and first responders. And for this month only, lease a 2024 Hyundai Elantra SEL for only $179 a month. Or lease a 2024 Hyundai Kona SEL all-wheel drive for just $289 a month. Inventory is arriving daily. Visit us today. Hello viewers, it is time for the configurator segment of the show, where I configure a vehicle how I think I would get it. So today, we're actually doing a Jeep Compass, a 2024 Jeep Compass, because as there are a lot of Jeep and Wagoneer products, there uh, are varying levels of price. This is the entry level Jeep and I think it offers a lot of Jeepness for the money. So let's get started. So you have a few models to choose from. You have the Sport, the Latitude, the Latitude Lux, the Limited, and of course the Trailhawk. Now, the Compass is a great little four-wheel drive. Uh, they're fuel efficient. It gives you the look of a Jeep, the feel of a Jeep, uh, and they come with a lot of amenities. And they also lease very well. So I would go with the Latitude Lux, uh, namely because I really like these wheels. Um, so we're gonna go here, and I like the equipment level. I'm gonna explain that here in a moment. So a bunch of different uh, exterior colors we can get on here. We can get the Baltic Gray, um, Red Hot Pearl is a super popular color on these because of the, uh, the body cladding. We have a little different here, but I usually like my Jeeps black. So um, these are great for uh, if you're tooting around town and you don't need something enormous. Um, these are great for parking. They're good for going, doing some light off-roading, if you go camping, if you have dogs. Um, they're just great vehicles for that. They kind of do everything and they're very good on fuel. So we're going to go black here. Um, I like to do a little light off-roading, so I'm going to go Rock Rails by Mopar just to beef it up a little bit. Now what Rock Rails do are when you're off-roading, a lot of times there are like little rocks and ridges and things and they go up and as you drive over them, sometimes they'll uh, bump into the side of the vehicle and these rock rails prevent that damage. So that's definitely something I'm going to go with. So we're going to scoot down here. I like the 18 inch wheels. They're not crazy big, which is nice. So if you wanted to change these tires to something a little more off-road friendly, like a BF Goodrich K03, you can do. Uh, but the tires that come on them are great. They're all season tires, 225-55-18s. Uh, we have the monotone paint. As we look into the interior, they've really upgraded the Compass. I don't know if you've driven Compasses of the past, but uh, this has got a great interior. We have the touch screen here uh, with your Uconnect. We have physical buttons to change things, which I love, an actual shifter, USB and USB-C compatibility. We have different drive modes, cruise control, and of course your digital display here. So if we go down here, this Uconnect is a 10.1 inch screen, not a 10, it's a 10.1 and it's got the leatherette seats which we love because those are very durable. Um, a few things that I would definitely do. Uh, interior protection package, yes. We're gonna go for all weather floor mats and the uh, mat in the back. For my vehicle, I have uh, an SUV. I'm constantly putting things in it and stuff is getting ingrained in the carpet and all kinds of things, it drives me nuts and I need to buy one of these, so what I would have done is gotten one of these originally. These are definitely worth your money. Um, $345 for that. We're gonna go over here to the Mopar Premium Package, just because I like racy pedals, and it says Mopar. We're gonna go for that as well. And we go over here, the Graphics Package, I don't really need. Um, I'm definitely gonna go Premium Lighting Group because, few few reasons. One, lights are very important both to see and be seen for safety. Um, these are bifunction LED projectors and they have premium LED fogs and tail lamps. I think when you have a decent set of wheels and a nice set 
of upgraded lights on a vehicle from factory. It definitely makes the vehicle look more premium and it's safer. So we're gonna do that as well. We're gonna go over here to the Lux Driver Assist Package, and I think this offers a lot for the money. You get the 360 surround view camera, adaptive cruise control, which now that I've used, I can't go without. It's just, I mean, I like driving old cars and things, but I'm doing road trips. The adaptive cruise is a lifesaver. Um, this also gives you uh, dual climate control, the foot activated open and go lift gate, so when you're carrying groceries, you can just swipe your foot under the vehicle, and the tailgate lifts up and you can put things in, whether you're holding a kid and groceries or a dog or bags or what have you, it's just a great feature to have. So I'm definitely gonna go with that. That gives us the windshield de-icer. It gives all kinds of things. Um, wireless charging pad. Sun and sound group, it's an SUV. I like those things. We're definitely gonna go dual pane, panoramic sunroof. So when your friends are in the back, they don't feel all because I like a dark interior, so a sunroof brings in some light. So I always try to go with the sunroof. So we'll add that there. These vehicles actually are not underpowered whatsoever. This is a two liter direct injected motor, 200 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque. It has engine start stop, which you can turn off. And uh, it's got a pretty quick zero to 60. I actually drove one the other day. I was pretty surprised. We had one as a rental. I was like, oh, this thing gets up. Um, eight speed automatic transmission definitely helps with that. It's very well geared, so you're always in the right gear. You're not always hunting. Uh, and the turbocharger gives you that nice mid-range torque. So that's what comes standard on that vehicle. And if we go down here to the summary, we've got the black compass, the 18 inch wheels I like, $42,610. And it has pretty much everything you would need and everything you would get pretty much in a luxury car, um, just comparing. Not that it's, it's a little apples oranges and more apples to a shoehorn, but uh, we have an E350 in the family and this actually has more equipment on it than that, including the adaptive cruise control, the swipe your foot underneath, a wireless charging pad, all things the Mercedes-Benz E350 that we have did not come with. It's definitely a do-everything vehicle, and like I said, it's extremely well-equipped, and I really like it in this package, in the black with the 18s, and of course you have the seven-slotted Jeep grill, which tells everybody you're driving a Jeep. Um, and if you wanna check one of these out, take one for a test drive. It's gonna surprise you for certain, especially the acceleration and the quietness of the ride uh, and the, um, all of the amenities you get in something like this. So you're gonna to wanna to check it out at Elmwood CDJR in East Providence. Check them out. Priority Premium, located inside the all-new state-of-the-art Hyundai of Newport facility, is New England's destination for world-class Highline pre-owned vehicles. Our collection is hand-picked by local top automobile experts, fully inspected, serviced, and reconditioned with extended warranties available. We have over 10 specialists with years of experience ready to help guide you into a vehicle that best suits your budget and everyday needs. Visit PriorityPremium.com today. At the fully redesigned Kia of Groton, our top priority is you. We have Kia loaners and short-term rentals available. Offer top dollar for your trade and offer a $300 military rebate. We have an easy sales process, factory trained staff, over 500 new Kias to choose from, all backed by an industry leading factory warranty. Easy to get to, and most importantly, voted number one in the region, district and zone for service customer satisfaction. KiaOfGroton.com. What does it mean that our customers are our owners? It means that we don't have shareholders like a bank. We have owners like you. And though we don't have traditional shareholders, we do share. We share values, expectations, and yes, profits in the form of better rates, lower fees, and dividends. Our customers are our owners. Our owners are our customers. Navigant Credit Union. Come join us. Hey Connecticut, Jasmine here at Kia of Groton. Come visit us today for special offers on our new Kia inventory. During the Kia Summer Sticker Sales event, lease a 2024 Kia Seltos S all-wheel drive for only $299 a month or buy a 2024 Kia Nero LX for just $28,000. Get double the factory warranty, double the trade-in value, and quick and convenient service. Plus, we're offering all military an extra $500 off. 421 Route 12 in Groton or online at kiaofgroton.com. You'll be glad you did. Hello everybody, and welcome to the 2024 Mazda CX-50. 
Hey everybody, now that I'm out of the trunk, we are here back at the beautiful Tasca Automotive Center on 1300 Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. And if we pan over there, there's a brand new Mazda building. So 2024 Mazda CX-50, what do we think about it? This is the CX-5's more rugged brother. It's a little wider, a little lower, and it definitely is peppy. Let's talk about the important stuff. Engines on these, you can get the naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder, all CX-50s come with a six-speed automatic transmission, and they're all all-wheel drive, which we love here for New England. Um, but this one has the optional turbocharged engine, and when running 93 octane fuel, or premium fuel, 256 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque. Let's talk about the design of the CX-50. I really like the look of this vehicle, especially in this color. Of course, by Xenon headlights on this higher trim level, we have fogs here, a blacked out grill, our Mazda symbol here. I like the power bulge in the hood. I like the slick back roof line. And of course, this one has the darker trim on it, which I also think is really nice. This being one of the more premium models, 245, 45 R20s here with 20 inch wheels, black with a nice polished face. Few things I like about the CX-50, other than I mentioned I like these neat mirrors, of course the integrated turn signal. So we have some nice plastic body cladding here because this vehicle can get you off-road. And don't forget, this with the turbocharged engine can tow up to 3,500 pounds. As we go around the side of the CX-50, a few things I'd like to point out that I also like is I like this nice muscular line here on the rear of the vehicle, which is not something you find in a lot of SUVs of this class. Uh, and another thing I'd like to mention, it doesn't look like a lot of the SUVs in its class, which is something that I'm always interested if I'm buying a car. I like these nice low profile um, roof rails here. They're a nice satin finish. We have a nice detail here. And if we go around the back, actually probably my favorite design feature of the car is the beautiful rear tail lights and the look of the back of this car. We have dual polished exhaust. We have different color here and here. And of course we have these nice beautiful tail lights, which I really, really like. Now obviously this being an SUV, the utility part of that is obviously very important. We have 60-40 folding rear seats here in the back and obviously those fold down nicely. This has plenty of space in the rear and an actual spare tire which you will not find on a lot of modern cars. Plenty of cubbies to put things, plenty of hooks to put your bags and groceries and of course you also have a shade to cover things after you go shopping. Welcome to the inside of the 2024 CX-50. Uh, this is one of the more premium trims. Like I said, I really like the interior. I think this is where this vehicle really shines. Um, I like that it's kind of minimalistic, but everything you touch is a nice soft touch material. We have the brown stitching in the dashboard. We have the brown stitching in the seats, brown piping around here. We have some black piano black trim in here. And I like that everything is simple to use. You can just hop in the CX-50 and easily without distracting yourself from the road, uh, be able to mo modify the radio, the climate control, which has actual buttons, thank you. Um, it's just very easy to use. I like the display, it's super easy to read, even in really bright circumstances. But I, where I really think the Mazda does a nice job is it really punches above its weight class and in interior materials. Like I mentioned, I really love the simplicity of this vehicle. Uh, we have radar cruise control, a beautiful steering wheel, perfect size, nice sized rim on here. I like the trimmings. I like the small airbag. It makes the dash very easy to see. Another thing I'd like to point out is that the entertainment screen is not enormous and it doesn't take up the entire center console. So we have plenty of storage up here. We have wireless charging here and we have our drive modes over here. Also, I'd like to note it has a volume knob, which we love. I am not a fan of vehicles that don't have volume knobs. Um, this one has a heated steering wheel, heated seats and cooled seats. Uh, and a 12 speaker Bose stereo system. Another thing I'd like to mention, which is a little silly, but I definitely love it, and it really doesn't come in a lot of cars, it has a sunglasses holder. Uh, this one also has the optional panoramic sunroof, super easy to operate, buttons are right here, you don't have to do any voodoo or magic tricks like in a lot of the new cars where you're doing gestures and high fives, it's a button, it opens, I like that. And the other thing is these seats, leather seats are extremely comfortable and on the road they are nice and easy. You could very much take this on any kind of road trip. Another few things I do like about this interior uh, are that over here we do have memory seats as I'm in and out of cars all the time, especially with my significant other. And it's always great to just press the memory seat and have it go. We also have our power rear tailgate here. Um, one other thing to mention is this does have power folding mirrors. 
Here I am sitting behind myself in my position in my seat. Uh, and a nice thing about a crossover SUV is obviously rear occupancy because you're taking your friends to dinner, you're taking the dog to the park or folding the seats down. Uh, one thing I find in a lot of SUVs is everybody talks about the front seats. It's the rear seats that aren't quite as comfortable and they're always kind of like a flat bench. Uh, I'm surprised and happy to say that in the Mazda, they're nice and comfortable armrest folds out here and it has the beautiful stitching that the front seats have. I could definitely take a road trip back here and have no issues. I reviewed a lot of Mazda vehicles in the past, but this one in particular I really, really enjoy. Like I said, I love the premium materials, I like the size of the vehicle, and it's just really easy to maneuver and get in and use day to day. Uh, I also think, like I said, it's a um, it kind of stands out amongst its peers, which is always great, uh, and in a good way. <laughs> There's a lot of cars that stand out in a bad way. This is not one of them. So uh, if you're interested in the CX-50, come down here to 1300 Pontiac Ave in Cranston and check out Tasca's brand new Mazda building and drive through service area. You're really going to like it. The Anchor Auto Group has served and been involved with the local community for over 35 years. We also make a difference by putting you first. Check out our reviews from our ever-expanding family of Anchor customers. From our service team to our state-of-the-art facility, you'll receive five-star treatment. During the current inventory shortage, we've worked day and night to ensure we have the best assortment of new and pre-owned vehicles in New England. We hear this every day. Wow, there's no shortage here, and you have more vehicles than any other dealers. Want to find your next vehicle quickly? Then get to Anchor Subaru Nissan on Route 146 in North Smithfield or online at anchorautogroup.com. Big banks sure do love technology, but not always for the right reasons. We love technology too, but we use it to make your life easier, not ours. Which is why we have Big Bank Tech without the Big Bank. It's what happens when your customers are your owners and your owners are your customers. Navigant Credit Union. At Anchor Subaru and Anchor Nissan, we have the inventory and not just 40 or 50 vehicles. We not only have 150 pre-owned Subarus and 150 pre-owned Nissans, we have hundreds of cars, trucks, and SUVs, along with some of the nicest Highline vehicles you'll find, all available with financing specials. At Anchor Subaru and Anchor Nissan, you'll get a smooth transaction and you'll drive home today. So visit us on Route 146 in North Smithfield or online at anchorautogroup.com. Hey everybody, once again, it is time for the Priority Premium Top 10 segment. Now these guys are located at 1215 West Main Road in Middletown and they have a lot of cool vehicles over there and a brand new showroom so make sure to check them out. But these are my top 10 picks. Let's take a peek. To start us off, I wanted to say to get into one of these priority premium brands, you do not have to have premium money as is a perfect example with this 2015 Audi A3. Something I really love about the Audis that I'm sure you've heard me talk about is the all-wheel drive system. Uh, they're fantastic in the weather, they have great ground clearance, and the Audi A3 is a perfect way to get into Audis. Now this has the potent 2.0 turbo engine, and this is smaller than the A4, so this is a very quick car. And with the all-wheel drive, you have a lot of traction. So if we look down here, $16,900 for this Audi. It's beluga brown on chestnut. 72,000 miles, seats five, you get over 30 miles per gallon highway. I think these vehicles are great and they're especially a great size if you live in a town. You have to do a lot of tight maneuvering. It's a little shorter than the A4. If you don't need a huge amount of room, um, this is definitely one to pick from the Audi lineup. On a completely different spectrum of Audis, check this out. This is a 2018 Audi R8 5.2 V10 Spider. I love the color. I love the silver wheels. I love the black interior. The Audi R8 is not going to be with us for long, and as things get into being hybridized and you know going from six cylinders to four cylinders or V8s to inline sixes, this 
has Lamborghini's 5.2 liter V10. And it sounds incredible. If you haven't heard one, go on YouTube right now and look up Audi R8 V10 exhaust. These are awesome. I think this car is a great spec. I love the silver wheels and the silver accent here. They're extremely fast and also they're not intimidating. They're very easy to drive. Just hop in and drive it. It's not like Lamborghinis of old in the 80s, Countach's, Diablo's. These are very user friendly. I think they look the part and they're fairly easy to maintain. I think that's uh, one of the great thing about modern supercars. And with the V10, you get the soundtrack. Uh, I just think they sound incredible and these cars aren't gonna be around forever. Um, definitely check this one out, 138,900, super low mileage. We have the blue on the black interior, 18,000 miles. It's got the convertible top, it's got the speed, it's got the sound, I think it's got the look. If you're looking for a cool car in that price range, the Audi R8 V10 is a perfect one to start with. Now, if you're looking for something with similar performance, but you occasionally need to carry around backseat passengers, this is a fantastic choice. This is a 2023 BMW M3 Competition X Drive, which means it's all wheel drive and you have all that M3 thrust. These cars are incredibly fast. And if you want a convertible, this is a great way to go, especially if you need four seats. I like that it's kind of in a subdued color. I love the darker wheels. It has the signature BMW front end. This one's only 82,900. And skyscraper gray on black, 6,000 miles. Uh, the all-wheel drive, it's got a really fast shifting eight-speed automatic. If you haven't experienced a BMW M car, or even if you have, uh, these are fantastic vehicles. The guys at BMW M really know what they're doing. Um, like, if you want a convertible car and all that performance and some practicality, the M4 Comp X-Drive convertible is where you're gonna wanna be. Now another step up in practicality, but no steps down in speed, we have this BMW X4 M X-Drive. These are extremely potent SUVs. They have an enormous amount of thrust. I see we're on super sports here. We have the BMW M wheels, the classic BMW front end, like I mentioned from the other M car. This one only 53,900, black on black. As you know, I love black on black. That's why I picked it. 29,000 miles. It still has that super potent turbocharged six cylinder engine and all wheel drive. This is a total sleeper. You could really, really, uh, let's say, um, surprise some people off of a set of lights or getting on the highway with this vehicle as they are very high performance. And of course, I like the slow roof line. It's nice and sporty and of course, black on black. So if you need speed, and you need to carry things, the X4M is, might be the way to go for you. In keeping with speed and practicality, this is a 2017 Bentley Bentayga W12. W12 being, of course, the twin turbocharged 12 cylinder engine that Bentley offers. These things really scoot. At the time it came out, it was the fastest SUV on sale in the world. Uh, now these vehicles with options go for well over $250,000. This one only 96,900 and you get the W12. We're not gonna have those big engines forever. So get your hands on one, especially if you are an automotive enthusiast. Um, it sounds great. It's Onyx on burnt oak, 27,000 miles, all wheel drive. You can drive this all year. You can drive this to the store. You can drive this to dinner. It has some off-road capabilities, believe it or not. It is off-road uh, off capable. Um, if you, I don't know anybody that takes their Bentayga camping, but they would probably be the coolest person I would know. Um, I really like these, uh, and they have enormous mid-range thrust with that 12-cylinder engine. And if you wanna save yourself you know, $150,000 for one that looks exactly the same, get yourself this one, and of course, it's in black. If you've watched the show before, you know I'm a huge fan of the Land Rover Defender, the, both the old and the new. But if you're driving something every day, the new one is really great. It has all the capability you need, but great on-road manners. And this one's no different. This is a 2020 Defender 110X. And the reason I picked it is because it has this beautiful flat paint and we have the black accents, the roof rack. It's definitely ready for whatever, whatever you wanna throw at it. I really like the front end of these vehicles. Um, I think the headlights and taillights look really neat. This one has red painted brake calipers, $59,900. Pangea green over vintage tan, what a cool combo. And this one has the turbocharged six cylinder mild hybrid and 58,000 miles. This is a great vehicle for whatever you wanna do. And us being here in New England, the Defender has been a very popular choice for people. And it's definitely on my personal list of vehicles to buy. 
Next up is this beautiful 2014 Maserati Gran Turismo. Now I drove one of these on the show previously and completely fell in love with it. It's got the Ferrari derived 4.7 liter V8, which makes the most glorious noise. Uh, like I said, go on YouTube, look up Gran Turismo 4.7 V8 exhaust, you will not be disappointed. I buy the car just on the exhaust note alone, but you also get this beautiful Pininfarina style body, this beautiful nose, it's black on black, and I love the wheels, the red brake calipers. It looks the part, it sounds the part, it is the part, and is one of the best four seat convertibles, I think, of the modern era. And this one is only $49,900. I might have to buy it before you guys, to be honest. Um, 6,800 miles on it. It only has 6,800 miles. Uh, six speed automatic with paddles. Um, I just think these cars are really neat and they really do. I know I keep saying it more and more. They make the greatest noise. So go check them out on YouTube and you're gonna wanna take this one for a ride because trust me, you're gonna agree with me. This is a 2017 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT. And when they came out, I thought they were so beautiful, and I still do. I think this is one of the most beautiful Mercedes products they have come out with in the modern era. I love the long hood, the short overhangs, and the short rear, the swooping roof line, and of course this has a twin turbo V8, and it has huge performance. Uh, if you've heard one, they sound fantastic. I really, really like the shape of this vehicle. I love that it has the silver wheels. I like it in red. If you saw this car in the sunlight like I did, you'd be very impressed. A lot of metallic. It's a Designio color, which means it's a special color from Mercedes-Benz. 19,000 miles on this one, 79.9. I can't believe they can sell these cars. They were, they kind of hovered around $100,000, and now they're finally starting to come into the 70s. Uh, and this is a very good price on this vehicle, especially with the Designio paint. Um, you are going to be noticed if you drive this car. Check this one out. If you're looking for similar performance to the AMG GT, but you like some top-down motoring and a little more grand touring, the SL63 is not one to count out. Being the AMG model of the SL, this has enormous performance. Uh, if you've ever driven into the AMG cars, you know German horsepower is special horsepower. It just has an extra kick to it. And of course, black, black, the silver wheels, red brake calipers. Uh, the SL, uh, this style, is the two-seater, so great for going out to dinner, just going on a cruise. Um, I've always been a huge fan of the SL, so make sure to check this one out. If we go down here, $79,900, black, black, 22,000 miles, a V8, rear-wheel drive, it's automatic. It is a bruiser and a cruiser. Great vehicle. Last but certainly not least, we're staying in Mercedes land with this 2015 Mercedes-Benz S-Class 554 Matic. And what's neat about this is, this is the S-Class Coupe. Two doors. This vehicle exudes luxury and style. It's much rarer than seeing the sedan on the road. I love the Coupe, and of course it's black. I like that it's the 550, it's a twin turbo V8, it's all wheel drive, it's something you can drive all year. It actually has a back seat big enough for adults when you open those big old two doors on it. I think the styling on this is gonna go down as a great looking Mercedes. I think the side profile is excellent. It's a big, long luxury tour. You could really drive a lot of miles in this and not feel it. Now these go for well over $100,000. Of course it did when it was new. This one's only 48.9 and it's in fantastic shape. Black, black, seven speed automatic, V8, twin turbo, and only 22,000 miles. And it can get 24 miles per gallon on the highway and has all of your beautiful Mercedes-Benz amenities and comfort you to come to expect from a high-end Mercedes-Benz model. This is definitely a fantastic car. Do not sleep on the S-Class Coupe. They're not going to make cars like this forever. Get one of these. So that concludes this week's top 10 on the more car stuff. Need service? Get in and out in under one hour at Kia of Groton. When you book our express service, you'll get an oil change, tire rotation, multi-point inspection, and a vacuum car wash in less than one hour, all for only $79.99. Come see why we're ranked number one in customer satisfaction in the eastern region. Kia of Groton, where our top priority is you. KiaofGroton.com. You may recognize the building, but this is the all new Westerly Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Newport Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. We're now part of the Priority Automotive Group family. 
and during It's the Season, we have Jeep Compass leases for $3.29 a month and Dodge Hornet leases for $3.99 a month. Welcome to Priority's newest locations, Westerly Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Newport Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. We are your EV experts. At Premier Kia, our trained EV experts are here to seamlessly guide you through the EV process. From rebates to technology, our EV experts will teach you everything you need to know about your new EV. And for this month only, lease a 24 Kia Nero EV for $189 a month. Plus get a federal tax incentive of up to $7,500. And imagine how much you'll save never buying gas again. Premier Kia, CT.com. If you drive a Toyota and you're in an accident, it's important that you bring your car to a Toyota Certified Collision Center. It's important for everyone to understand not all collision shops are created equal. The public should be aware that only 10% of repair shops out there achieve any certification at all. Toyota's stringent certification program is widely recognized as having the highest standards in the industry. Some of the training required by Toyota certification program is very stringent. They come in and they expect us to do training and classes on the latest technology and all of the latest vehicles that are out there. Part of being in the Toyota Certified Collision Center is parts and the improper installation of those parts. If the Toyota recommended procedure on a factory part, that's the part we're going to put in, whether the insurance company is going to pay for that part or not. In the Toyota Certified Collision Center, when you're repairing a Toyota car and it's a safety related item, oftentimes there may be aftermarket parts that are written to the insurance estimate. At Toyota Dartmouth, we'll price match most of those parts when we can. Today's vehicles use advanced materials and safety features, but crumple zones, airbags, safety sensors, electronics, computers, don't even get me going on the complexity of vehicles like the Toyota Prius Hybrid. Repairing these vehicles properly after a collision requires, no, make that mandates up-to-date training. As a Toyota certified shop, we require each of our technicians involved with collision repair to take ongoing training every year. This includes classrooms on new vehicle technologies and the latest factory recommended repair procedures. For instance, to remove and repair a rear bumper on a 2018 Camry is a 17 page procedure that a factory trained technician will use to do the repair correctly. Inside that bumper may be cameras, blind spot monitors, sensors, so it's important that that procedure be done by the recommended factory procedure. Oftentimes with these vehicles, there's all types of new advanced materials in their construction. Whether it's frame measuring equipment, welders specific for aluminum or high strength steels, or any other specialized tools, we have it all here. Let me tell you a little bit about our refinish process. Once your body work is done, it's ready for paint. We bring it into the other side, prep it all off, it goes into the booth. Now we have three size booths which are all down draft state of the app booths. It circulates the air around and around, but nothing goes through the stack to the top. That's just for the fresh air to come in. A lot of people don't understand that waterborne paint doesn't have a lot of smell. You come into our shop, there's a smell. It's very environmental friendly. It's easy to put on and it gives you the factory finish that you would expect when you take delivery of your vehicle. Being an accident is stressful, even if nobody gets hurt. At Toyota Dartmouth, we see this every day. We know how to get through it. We work with all the insurance companies. We're experts at navigating the insurance claim process. We also will keep you informed through text, email, phone calls. Any which way you want to be contacted, we'll keep you up to date with repair status. You know, a vehicle's a big investment. People are concerned about it and they just want to know, when are they going to get it back and is it going to be good and is it going to be safe? We'll get you back as soon as we can, as fast as we can. Matter of fact, if you look at some of the industry uh, metrics from the insurance company who measure these type of uh, indicators, we're consistently two days faster than the average shop in our peer group. We are the only Toyota certified shop from Cape Cod all the way down to the Massachusetts border. Toyota Dartmouth is proud to be one of those select few. In these inflationary times, Premier Kia is working for you. For a limited time, when you lease a brand new Kia, all of your oil changes are on us. For this month only, lease a 2024 Kia Forte LXS for only $189 a month. 
or lease a 2024 Kia Sportage LX all-wheel drive for just $289 a month. Both come with free oil changes. Premier Kia in Brantford or online at premierkiact.com. Nobody sells more Subarus in Connecticut than Premier. With 800 new Subarus in stock and two convenient locations, there's a Premier Subaru near you. And for this month, lease a brand new Outback for $295 a month. Or lease a brand new Forester for $299 a month. Plus, both have financing rates as low as 1.9%. Premier Subaru, lowest prices, highest trade value, free lifetime powertrain warranty, and the best values in Connecticut. Buy at Premier.com. Avoid all the bridge traffic. Shop Chevrolet Buick GMC of Attleboro. Enjoy a stress-free drive and a relaxing car buying experience at our easy-to-get-to location. 103 Washington Street, South Attleboro. We have over 200 new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs on our lot ready for immediate delivery. Plus, we offer additional savings to our military and first responders. And as always, our top priority is you. Chevrolet Buick GMC of Attleboro.com. Welcome to the all-new state-of-the-art Hyundai of Newport, where we bring the luxury car buying experience to you with free pickup and delivery, loaner vehicles, and drive-in service bays. And as always, we offer additional savings to our military and first responders. And for this month only, lease a 2024 Hyundai Elantra SEL for only $179 a month. Or lease a 2024 Hyundai Kona SEL all-wheel drive for just $289 a month. Inventory is arriving daily. Visit us today. At Toyota of Dartmouth, we're one of the highest rated Toyota dealers in the country, and we're just 10 minutes from Fall River. For a limited time, lease a 2024 Toyota RAV4 Prime SE for only $329 a month. Plus, we have special financing as low as 1.99%. Our lot is stocked full of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs for immediate delivery. Toyota of Dartmouth, just 10 minutes from Fall River, right off of 195 in North Dartmouth. You know what, my dad was the guy that everybody knew. When he started off, he had a, a Sunoco station as a, as a 19 year old kid and had a, had a gas station business and, and towards the, the end of his life, he, he got a, a, a license to sell used cars and then unfortunately, he got cancer and he passed away when he was only 46. You know, that Sunoco station was, you know, like in the hub of Cumberland, Rhode Island and everybody knew him. and. He took care of people, and even to this day, we'll have uh, you know some old folks come in and say, "Geez, I remember your dad, and you know, he helped me out, and I didn't have enough money to pay for the repair, so he let me make payments." And hearing stories like that, you realize, you know, what you need to do when you're a small business in a, in a small local community. And and when we got started, which was in the mid '80s, after my dad had passed away, we took over the used car dealership and. We took his example and once we started getting going a little bit, making a little bit of money, I mean, we thought it was important to you know, help out the community wherever we could, whether, and in the beginning it was small gestures, you know, helping out the local Little League baseball team or sponsorship for somebody's uh, pageant or dance recitals or things like that. But, you know, we did, a, we did a lot of that stuff and then slowly we just started doing more and more and more. A former customer, whose um, husband had passed away in a motorcycle accident in one socket, and it was pretty well known. They came to me recently and, and asked if I would help them out and sponsor their ride. Um, they, do a, they do a ride to fund a scholarship. And the woman who came was um, the young man who passed. It was uh, his mother who came on behalf of his wife, her daughter-in-law, uh, to ask if we would help, and, and we helped. And it was a modest help compared to some of the things we've done. But she was so thankful and had tears in her eyes and recently sent me a, a handwritten note, a t-shirt from the event, you know, what they've done with the scholarship money, how many scholarships they've given up to this point. And it was, uh, it was pretty cool. You know, when you're tied in with Subaru, you know, Subaru is, is big into pets, they've got dogs on their commercials, they sponsor Pet Month, which is always in October every year. I don't know, pets are just our thing and you know we got tied in with the Rhode Island SBCA years ago. I don't even remember how it started, but we continue that relationship. We've probably been working with them for 
I don't even know, 15, 20 years. We've done adoption events here where they've brought dogs and cats and so forth here to have adoption events. And we had vendors in here trying to raise money. We held raffles. We did all of those things. Subaru has the National Underdog Day, um, which is usually around the 20th of the month, 22nd of the month of October, where they're trying to shine a light on you know what they call the underdogs, the dogs that people don't run into the shelter intending to adopt. You know, puppies, there's usually not too much trouble adopting off a puppy. An older dog or a dog with a, with a physical ailment, um, things like that, those dogs can tend to hang around a while in a shelter. So we take, we take that day and we've turned the, that day into half the month. We'll pay for the adoptions. We've paid for training if, if dogs needed specialized training. We've paid for some medical things to try to give these dogs a shot. To, to get a home, to get a forever home, and to stick. Our customers, our Anchor family has always responded hugely with stuff like that. The Share the Love program is something that Subaru started years ago. Subaru's idea was, you know, we do so much for the community, we'd like you to do more, but we'd like to sort of shine a light on it so everybody realizes what your, you know, what your connection is to, to the community. Trying to get dealers to be more than a car dealer, just as they say, at Subaru we're more than a car company. When it started, Subaru would have um, five national charities, and it was a national park, um, the ASPCA, the National ASPCA, Meals on Wheels, um, things like that, and they have these, these uh, organizations. And between Subaru of America and the dealer, uh, we would donate $250 to one of those national charities for every vehicle that got sold from the middle of November through the year end. And the dealers really came forward and said, you know, we'd like to do something a little more on the local scale. So they allowed us to partner with some organizations that, that we felt strongly about, things that, that we thought in our community needed some attention. In the past couple of years, past few years, we've done the Rhode Island SPCA, of course, but most recently, the last few years, we've partnered with Crossroads, uh, Rhode Island. Crossroads had a little special extra for us because they deal with not just homelessness, but they deal with trying to correct it. They're not just about providing housing, they're about providing training, job training, education, to try to break the cycle of somebody being homeless. So we've donated a lot of money, time, but it's, it's just the most wonderful cause. The problem recently, last year, that we had was these monies, these donation amounts, were tied to the amount of vehicles that get sold. Last year, I believe it was $300 per vehicle that we were donating between us and Subaru together to these, to these organizations for every vehicle that was sold, which was great until the chip shortage came in and the supply chain problems came in and our inventory, available inventory, was slashed by two-thirds. And instead of, you know, selling the normal amount of cars that we sold, we were selling, you know, a third of what we normally would sell. So, as you can imagine, it doesn't leave a heck of a lot of funds to be donated if you're selling a third of what you normally would sell. Last year we were, uh, we dueled with Crossroads and the food bank, and again, that was, because of the pandemic, there was, there was a lot of homelessness and there was a lot of people that needed some help with, with food. So we decided to partner with them as well. But when we got to the end, we were a little short because of the lack of vehicles. And, uh, and we ended up rounding up um, probably our largest donations during the Share the Love event to try to get them the help they needed. We had a pretty good year and we wanted to give back a little extra so that's another memory that uh, is a good one for us. We, we enjoyed doing that and they were extremely thankful and gave us uh, a lot of feedback on where those funds went and you know how many people were helped and so forth which is which is all we need to know. Thanks for watching the auto show. See you next time.